Alright, welcome back. Where we last left off, we're eating cupcakes. And Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the tea set in front of us, uh, in front of each of us before sitting down. Uh, God dang it. <laughs> before setting down <laughs> the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? How novel. Um, don't worry. But <laughs> I forgot Just the, keep going. The teachers Just gave us it. permission. <laughs> After all, it doesn't. She doesn't a hot cup of tea and help you enjoy a good book. All right, this place is about books. <laughs> oh man, okay. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. Ah oh, man, you know. I, I believe you, even though you didn't say anything. <laughs> it's, uh, well, tea and reading might not be my pastime, but at least I enjoy tea. Oh, I'm glad. I, I think I'm going to do like a southern one. That's good. <laughs> just, just to help me yeah. with consistency. <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles uh, to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, you just made... What? So what made you consider the literature club? Uh... I was afraid to answer this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Oh, well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the leadership, li the leader, lifts your club. That's the club. <laughs> it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How can you decide <laughs> to start your own club? You're surprised? She's like smart and like I don't like the way you leader. said surprised. I'm surprised. Um, could you probably be a board member of any of the major clubs? Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, sugar, you know. To be honest, I can't stand the politics around all the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Yeah, I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, I'm fulfilling that dream. <laughs> I forgot her voice. Oh. <laughs> Monica sure is a great leader. <laughs> I think you're doing your uh, summer voice. Uh, that, that's our end joke for the for the fans. Uh, Yuri nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must have been hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like the literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But if you make school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. S such different girls, all with amazing racks. I mean, interested in the same goals. You're going to get it canceled. <laughs> Um, Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. That that sounds just as, that sounds just as perverted. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is you talking or the game talking anymore. <laughs> Maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Or they're all. 
Uh, although I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Because I mean, books are for dorks. So, Drooper Dog, what kind of things do you pray tell like to read? Uh, well, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M -m manga <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-jokingly. Nasuki's head suddenly perks, oh, you like manga. <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, well, that could change. I'll do anything to sip for you. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know if I can play this game with you. I, ne <laughs> I never sent before. <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her tea glass cup. <laughs> tea glass cup with her fingers my favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds the level of creativity craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me and telling a good story is such a foreign world is equally impressive yuri goes on and on clearly passionate about her reading she seems so reserved and timid since the moment i walked in but it's obvious that by the way her eyes light up, she finds the comfort in the world of books, not people. You know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of her own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I think she's really into books. I can't tell. Yeah? Anyway, I read a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Once. <laughs> I desperately grasp at something so I can relate at the most minimal of levels. Goosebumps. <laughs> at this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with a rock. Monica, I really have. Ex I wouldn't have expected that. You oh, wait. That's Mon I said Monica, <laughs> but that's who I'm reading. Okay. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or makes, or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. There's horror mangas, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Well, I just... Nasuki's eye dart... Ah, Nasuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. <laughs> Give it back. Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your, <laughs> your, your poems. <laughs> Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, <laughs> see, I was just like... <laughs> Sayori slides uh, behind Nasuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Nasuki, oh, uh, Nasuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well... I guess sometimes. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> I think it's impressive. Despite what I just said. Why don't you share, uh, share them sometime? No. Nisuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. Or with a question mark tone, I suppose. <laughs> 
I understand how you feel in this, or Ninsuke feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing for one's self. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your, exposing your vulnerabilities, showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any experience, writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? what? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Nasuki and Yuri looked uh, quizzically at Monica. Ooh. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. <laughs> Nani? Then next time we'll share them all with each other and have a good time and everyone's gonna be happy. That way everyone's even. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Blush, now that we have a new member, it'll, I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen our bond with club. Isn't that right, Doop Down? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. And hey, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Five way. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never said I would join this club. <laughs> god, you're so disappointed in me. <laughs> you know, I, I agreed to play this game with you. I knew you were coming. <laughs> see, see your so he may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Boy! I'm sorry, I thought. Humph. Droopy dog. Y you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Okay, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say it. My mind It's a compliment. Um, right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yay, I'm so happy. Suri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really scared me, young man. For a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Yeah, me too, official. Welcome to the Leadership Club. Leadership Litter. Literature. <laughs> I didn't put. I didn't put up a fight at all. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks. I guess. Okay, so everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Droopy dog, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Damn. You are all so into me right now. Yeah? I can really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. <laughs> I should probably check if it's a question so I can ask it in a question. <laughs> Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Ish. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, 
The girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Yasuki clean up their food. Hey, Trippy Dog, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sorori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. <sighs> but she's not Monica. <laughs> sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Siori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. See, of course, Monica. Yeah, I got a favorite. Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most out of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Fuck. You ever write a poem, Victor? You're going to write the poem. What do you mean? Okay. Me? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Oh. Something good might happen whoever likes your poem most. All right, well, who's our favorite? Uh, who is our favorite? So, what? Monica's not on here. I guess she's not an option. Um, oh, you're right. I mean, uh, I watched an animator too, and purple hair waifus are usually my go to. <laughs> The reason it says projection output, like right in the middle. Oh, that's, it's gone. Um, oh, okay. That's the um, OBS. Okay. Um, I can't remember. There's Natsuki. I forget which one that is. Uh, Siori is our Siori's neighborhood the neighbor. friend. Childhood. Yuri is uh, the one you voice with the purple hair. Yeah, with, who likes horror and stuff. And is it Natsuki? Yeah. Natsuki is the purple hair one. Who uh, likes manga and pink hair. cute things. Yeah, pink hair. Yeah. I mean, we gotta go with the girl next door. Really? I mean, I, I mean... You're gonna I, be that I, obvious about it? I like... Uh, <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> my bias is purple hair, but knowing anime storylines, it's always the girl next door. <laughs> Alright. Um, we'll, we'll do rock, paper, scissors. You do Siori. Okay. I'll do Natsuki. Okay. Whoever wins. Ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Oh, okay, yeah. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Alright. <laughs> it's you. It's Yori. Okay, Siori. Okay. I mean, I was choosing Yori or whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, if you so, want to do Yori, yeah, it's, it's your right, win. You, you, gotta, you gotta write it no matter what. It's your All win. Right, pick the words. Pick the words. Alright, you said Yuri. Okay. Um, I can't remember what you wanted. What is she like? Pick, oh, she talked about uh, romantic comedies. <laughs> uh, um, ooh, poetry. Oh, you got a trophy. Oh, we got a, we got a trophy. Um, All right, come on. What did she like? Help, help me. You read it. That's the one I didn't read. You're stalling. Come on. Let's I'm just do this. But what did she like? Whatever happens, happens. Misery? Was it? Was it? no? Okay. Did she? Misery. <laughs> that's. I don't know. If that's a good poem. Um, uh, apparently not Suki like that. Oh. Um. What did you talk about, Victor? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll just slap some words then. Um. Do contamination. Okay. Right, you're oh, there. You go. Okay. Now you pick one. No, you're picking all. I'm picking all of them. All right. Hopeless. I'll, I'll pick all of them next time. I'm being. I'm being deep in. Uh, there you go, you're hopeless. There you go. Oh, there. Alright. Um, and then we'll throw a nice one. Strawberry. There we go. Um, climax, of course. Um, of course. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, tenacious. That's a good word. Uh, lucky. Uh, you're on it. Uh, hmm, let's do unending. Yeah, uh, let's see, skirt, gonna have. Mm -hmm, of course. Got yeah. it. Um, let's Speak see. my language. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I say, it, it, go on nibble. You know, we both know you're going there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know how to pronounce that word. What is that? This one? Yeah, how do you if, say that? If, effulgent? Effulgent. Effulgent? Effulgent. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> um, let's throw some depression there. Let's see who loves depression. You know who loves depression. Do I? C-R-E. <laughs> do I know that? Uh-oh, suicide's there. Or Doki Doki. Effulgent? Uh, shining brightly, radiant. Ooh, radiant. Okay. Okay. I, I like Vic that. Victor, do I want? Do we want Doki Doki or suicide? Um, suicide for for for, <laughs> for the what, <laughs> Victor? <laughs> I didn't say anything. What do you suicide? Does <laughs> it get that bad? Uh, what, what are you talking about? Oh my god! No, no, no! It was about me. It was about me. I, I, I almost said something bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, marshmallow. Marshmallow. Sorry, I was trying to take a drink. Uh, take a drink. We got very important poems to write. We look heaven sent. Um, not captive. Let's do a uh, flying. Flying. Yeah, flying. There you go. Um, and then, oh God, um, vivacious, bobacious, but, but, and then uh, <laughs> lollipop. This is gonna be a good poem. Um, <laughs> entropy. <laughs> Email, entropy. <laughs> um. Not Papa. Let's do. Let's do a tone. A tone. Ooh, oh, okay. I really, like really love that one. Yeah. All right. Let's see the results. Hey, Andrew, go. <laughs> let's see. Are, are we out of time? Oh. Yes. We're at like okay. twenty minutes. Let's see. Let's see the results of our very fantastic poem. Yeah. On the next episode of <laughs> Cloud. Bro, <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, we we record the, we're recording these in bunches, so we're not gonna we're not gonna respond to your <laughs> to your poll for a little while. Um. Anyways, see you next time.